All right, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, pink, we got him. Okay, so we're gonna put these in our eyes, and because you know, just it just helps, you know, especially when you try to sneeze. Um, you wipe them out. Sometimes they fall out. I don't really actually know what they are, um, but they look good and they feel good. They feel great, you know. Uh, so that's how you do it. How you do your hair? It's a spiky potato. Um, so you take the take the egg, put it in the water. I think that's that. An, this is an egg. Yep. So you squeeze it. Hopefully, it doesn't break. Because the best way to clone your hair, clone, because what we're trying to do is clone your hair. This is the best way to clone your hair. You put egg dots on your face, because this is what, and then you dunk it in. Um, so this is really my best attempt. Like, this is how, this is egg makeup tutorial. So this is basically how to have your skin the same shade as an egg's, egg's shell. So as you can see, we take the yolk, squeeze it on there, um, dunk it in, just really just rub it in there. And as you can see, the eye protectors that I put in at the beginning of the video really help to knock out the yolk in your eyes. Um, so anyway, that's just cherry cherry food coloring for your lips. Um, and we got some other stuff here. I don't, uh, I think this is actually from an old farmer. Yeah, so this is a, uh, a darker, deeper egg red egg shell color um, that I had purchased on, on eBay. Uh, so you just kind of got to rub it in. It really kind of, it's just really to accent where your curves are in the, fa the facial curves, you know? So as you can see, this side of my nose really is a very curved side of it. So yeah, you can see that the light hits it. Um, and you just get like delicate little rubs there and, you know, make sure it doesn't get in your hair because, you know, it's really hard to get egg shell, egg yolks out of your hair as we've all experienced. So Really just keep dabbing it in there till you kind of start feeling like almost like a plastic filament coming over <laughs> coming over your face and then you just kind of make a couple like little squints and make sure that you kind of really get get every angle there um, you know so anyway and we're speeding up this video because it's really takes a long time for the egg yolk to dry so that's why we're speeding it up but you can keep following along again eye protectors great okay so we now we have a cherry red. Okay, and this is actually from an old salmon. Uh, it's salmon particles that we put in a thing, and this it really kind of puts a protective layer. And that's, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this one. That's really old. Uh, so th these are different kinds of fish. So I think this might be a mackerel uh, f uh, powder. So we have to get these to kind of coincide with the egg yolks. Because um, that's, I mean, that's how you really get it to stick. Okay. So now we've got some old algae, uh, which are going to be putting on the eyebrows. So really it's just like the egg yolks and then, you know, the, the salmon powder kind of, you know, it keeps it all together. And then the algae kind of just really seals it on there. So you're not going to be worrying about, you know, sweating. If you're really doing anything physical, it's not going to sweat. Uh, so you got to make sure those eyebrows are are really on fleek, as they call it, on fleek. So, so just make sure you look. Um, so anyway, so we, here's our favorite palette. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is my, yeah, so like I said, it's minty mackerel, I believe is the shade. Um, so it's really fun, you know, and it's it's great. It kind of smells, you got to get past the, the smell of the, you know, the fish. Uh, but, you know, it's great. Like once you, it really does a lot for your skin. If you kind of, if you Google it, you can see how fish oil, I actually got this from Mac, um, and actually MAC, which is funny, which I found it recently stands for mackerel because a lot of makeup is derived from fish. So anyway, uh, so we're going to be accenting the cheekbones. We're going to be accenting the nose, bridge, you know, really just every part of your face you really want to pop, essentially. Um, so anyway, so uh, usually what I would do is paint my whole face white with white paint. Um, but, you know, that can kind of crack and dry. So like I said, you know, it just really helps to... Uh, take your time, you know, put the layers on, uh, really accent the eyes. Again, this is pepper I'm putting around my eyes, so this is where the eye protectors come in handy. Like, really, you know, you got to have them, so that's what I put them, that's why I put them in at the beginning. Uh, so, yeah, this is this is grade A um, hot pepper, um, and on the Scoville scale, it's very, very hot, so you just got to be careful with not getting it actually in your eyes. Um, so, yeah, just really kind of put it around there and just make sure, like I said, no, don't get it in there. Okay, so now we have this, which is my, which is my favorite part. Uh, so this is actually tar um, that, you know, if you if you don't want to pay for it, you can really just go to go to a construction site after hours, scoop some up, make sure it's a hot day so it's nice and thick, okay? And then really what the great part about this is is that it holds your eyes in place. It holds your eyebrows in place, eyelashes in place, so you don't have to worry about them moving. I mean, what is tar meant for? It's meant to hold stuff in place, basically, so... So just as a follow up, I'm doing the other eyes. So we have egg yolk, okay, egg powder. Uh, we have fish powder. We have algae. We have pepper, and then we have tar. So we're on the tar now, and you like to put those lines because you know we we all kind of it just really helps accent you know how smart you are when you put the lines. That's why I've always done it. It just really kind of makes people see how smart I am. Um, so yeah, this I don't really know what this is. I, I I don't know what that is. I think it might actually might be mushed blueberries. Yep, that's mush blue. Yep, definitely mush blue. Yep. So that's uh, kind of you can put on. Really, it's a nice color, but also at the same time, it kind of gives you that nice blueberry taste that we're all striving for throughout the day. Um, 
And this is glitter glue that you can get from the dollar store, you know, the stuff that you'd use for arts and crafts when you're a child. Uh, glitter glue, you know, like we've all used it and it's great. It's really just kind of makes your lips stick together, um, you know, so you don't ever have to worry about chewing gum. Uh, so this is the eye scalp, or what is this called? This is the eye. It's those things, you know, when you, basically it's a tool so when they're, you know, they're trying to do an eye operation, they can hold your eye open, but you can use it backwards. So this is essentially holding your eye closed while you, while you put more tar, tar on your lash lashes. Um, again, eye protection. I am not going to be liable for anyone getting hurt because I said at the beginning of the video, use your eye protection. Okay, see, so this is what I'm saying. Closes the eyes. Clo sh really shapes the eyes. This is actually for shaping eyes. Um, so it's good, you know, and this is the part where like, you kind of f feel, feel the tar and the pepper kind of mixing around the eyelids. And again, algae, okay, this is why I put it on my eyebrows because it keeps the pepper from, it, it actually has pepper repellent, um, in it. So anyway, and then you kind of just keep moving around a little bit, do a little jiggy jig. Um, you know, it's, it, it kind of... <laughs> You kind of have to take a minute. This is why I took a minute here. I actually had to take a, a cut in between that because my face started to swell a little bit. And you have to kind of take a break to make sure the swelling goes down. So that's why we're back here. And we're putting on fake lash because the ones that I have, I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, so I think these are actually from, um, I can't remember, they, some kind of tiger that they, they snip the hairs off. Um, and they, you know, they put it in a lash. So anyway, we're pretty much done here. And yeah, we're really excited about how it turned out. And Save We Can Fly bracelet is my favorite bracelet ever. Um, you know, but anyway, so egg yolk, guys. Egg yolk, salmon, fish oil, okay? Algae, pepper, tar, and some smushed up blueberries. And you're set. You're, set. you're ready to go. You're ready to go to the bar. You're ready to go to the pub. Ready to go to the mall. Go to Walmart. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Stay cozy. All right.